What's up guys? It's King Daddy D Mac and welcome back to another episode of Fade the Beast. And oh man, yeah, we're on the Hermitcraft server using the ultimate pack and we are in the end. What are you doing, you derpy dragon? Oh man, I've been wanting to mess around with this guy for so long. I completely forgot about the fact that we never fought the Ender Dragon. And part of the reason of that is we had plans to mess around with him. I really, really had this curiosity whether the Ender Dragon could penetrate force fields or not. But I think today we should finally mess around for a little while and find out. Come here, you derpy dragon. Oh, man, I'm so tempted. I just want to mess with them so bad. Come here. Stop flying away from me. I'm talking to you, buddy. Oh, <laughs> It would just be so easy to demolish this guy. Anyway. Gotcha. Don't worry. We're not going to kill him yet. Anyway, I'm going to go grab some MFFS force field stuff. And let's find out if the dragon can go through it. Or if we can trap him or do something fun. So, I'll meet you guys right back. Alright, guys. I should have everything we need. Um, over at the ender... Get out of here, you dumb rotten flesh! Alright, over at the end portal, um, I went, I grabbed a bunch, I only really needed one, of these compact for cesium cells. So this should be enough to power while we're there. Um, we're just going to go ahead and do a cube um, module. Is that what it's called? Yeah, projector module. Um, capacitor, extractor, and I grabbed two projectors. We're only going to use one right now. Some blank cards, and we should be all set. Now, first off, we're going to have to set up a station where the dragon because i'm assuming he'll be able to break those things so we're gonna have to have something safe set up and we're gonna have to try and hurry with this too all right where are we here we are there's the ender dragon so get out of here mr dragon i'm thinking we could do this probably up here oh my goodness he's gonna come for me i know it of course when i don't want him to all right let's see if we can Wait for him to go the other direction. Let's get this stuff all set up and ready. Let's see. So we're going to set down the extractor, the capacitor. Don't need you. And that as quickly as possible. Put in power and get the cards and those guys in. All right. Are we good? I'm going to wait till he goes away one more time. And then we're going to rush for this. All right. Come on. Swoop away. All right. Let's try and hurry. So we got boom, boom, boom. Let's set up the cards for this. So this card. Oh, hurry, hurry. We'll go. Oh, no. Do, do we have? Okay. So that's LinkedIn. That now is power. Let's link this guy. Did that work? No. This guy to here. Quickly get that up. Let's get enough of these in. Let's change the power mode on all these. All right, let's see if we can hurry up and do this. Oh, where's my thing? Boom, boom. Oh no, oh no. Please tell me you didn't break it. Is that on? I can't tell. I link this right. Oh no, don't. Oh, you bastard. All right, so we're going to have to try for this again. And he completely destroyed it. You punk. I ought to kill you right now for that. All right, let me get the stuff again. We'll try again to do it quicker. Oh my goodness, I'm such a derp. I just realized I completely forgot the fact that you have to supply you over to this as well. So, let's try this again, and I think we're going to do it a little bit further away, just because this is going to be our main little station that will power everything else. Let's see, can we... Oh, oh, can we knock you out? Yeah, good. All right, let's grab all this stuff. Let's head back over to the end. Let's reset to those cards. Well, that's cool. They reset automatically. All right, so let's head over to the end. Let's see, end portal. And all right. 
right, this is going to be a little risky because I don't really want to lose that. That would not be good. Okay. So why don't we go a little, a little ways over here. See if we can get the Ender Dragon out of render range. Do we have to... Oh, I don't want to go too far, though. Let's lure him way over on the other side. In fact, if we can find... Ooh, here's a good little spot. Is the Ender Dragon out of render range yet? No, damn it. Go the other way. All right, we lured him out there. Now let's head back this way. Stay out there, buddy. Don't follow me. I'm warning you. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay. So hopefully right here we can do it real quick. I'm going to put that down absolutely last. Let's throw down. Boom. Boom. And where are you? Boom. Let's get this guy all see it. Let's put in 16. I think 16 is good. Oh, we got to put in first the type. 16. Let's get these linking cards all set. So let's make one for you. One for you. Awesome. Let's get these modes switched over. So that's good. That's good. That's good. Not really sure if you need these upgrades here, but we'll put them in anyway. Let's put in this guy right here. As soon as we turn him on, he should start to get going. All right, I think that's about all good. Let's now throw down this. All right, you working? Yes, no? Let's turn him on. All right, you're on. That's working up. That's good. Let's have this one share. All right, that's starting to power up. Awesome. All right, and let's get this guy on. Perfect. In fact, that's probably bigger than we needed. Ooh, hello, book. Come here. I'll take you. All right, awesome. Now let's see if we can get this Ender Dragon over here. See if this works. See, are we doing all right on power? All right, that's going up fine. So let's head over. Let's try and lure the dragon over here. See what happens. Oh, access denied. You freaking thing. All right, let's see. How do we make... Oh, do we need to make a full security system in order to get through? I think we might have to. Let's see. All right, let me run back, get a security station, and then we will come back and test this out. All right, got the security station. Hopefully this is the last time. All right, um, this way. Good, the Ender Dragon's still out of render range. Let's plop you down. We'll put him over here. That's fine. Let's go ahead and let's make a personal... Oh, wrong one. There we go. Personal ID card. Set that bad boy in here. Let's give ourselves all the rights. And put it in master. Okay. So now if we click on you, we'll get a security card. Can I just right click you? No. All right. Let's put... Do you need a security one? No, you don't need it. You need the security one. And... You need the security one. All right. Now, hopefully this works. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Turn him on. All right, perfect. And do we have a chunk loader? No, no chunk loader? No? Okay, well, that's fine. So let's see if we can get through this force field now. Awesome! All right, let's try and lure this dragon over. Come here, Mr. Dragon. Where is you? There we go. Come here. Come here. Over here. You can do it, buddy. Get over here. You coming? Do I still have the other? 
What's he doing? He just likes to chill like that. Come this way. Come over here. Can do it. Yep, yep. Come on. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. Let's get through. Oh no, get through. You gonna come back? Alright, we're gonna have to set up maybe another one. For oh, no, here he comes. Let's see, can he penetrate it? Please no, please no. Oh, you douche. Oh, all that for nothing. Well, I guess that's good to know. Could probably still do damage to him with this. Oh, that's disappointing. I so wanted to trap him in a force field. Uh oh, uh oh. Don't don't break that thing. Oh, you little turd. Alright, well, let's pack up. Let's get all of our stuff back quickly before he destroys it. Come on. Oh, you're not gonna break for me? Just get this one quick. Okay, phew. And he destroyed it all. Thanks, Mr. Dragon. You are an a-hole. All right, guys. So let's head back to the base. Let me show you some of the things I've been working on. Gotten, I guess, a good amount of progress done. But I really would like to finish building all of our rooms before we have to reset the server. Because I'm going to feel very disappointed if that's not all done. So I'll meet you over and we'll take a look. All right, guys, back at the base. Oh, man, that kind of stunk. I really wish we could have trapped him. I was really looking forward to messing around with him, but we'll have to do an Ender Dragon fight pretty soon now that we know we can't. Anyway, I came back to the base, and check out what I noticed. We got a gift. Enjoy a new toy from Slipgator. Aw, oh, what a nice guy. I wonder what this thing is. Kind of looks, I'm guessing it's part of that. Oh, where'd it go? Why should do that? Always pops out funny. Coin of Fortune. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Alright, so it's a little bit of work. Not the cheapest thing in the world, but not the most expensive. Now, how does this thing work? I think it's supposed to pick stuff up. If I remember correctly. Actually, it'll tell you right there. Draws in nearby items and XP if you right-click it to toggle. So, if we right-click... All right, sounding like I got... Did I get XP from that? No, it just makes that sound. So how close... Whoa! That was pretty far away. That was one, two, three, four, like five or six blocks away. That is pretty cool. This actually... Look at that. I'm trying to throw the snowballs and they come right back at me. And the thing doesn't use power, doesn't use... Any thumbcraft ore nodes. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Slip. We'll have to do something nice for him really soon. I know he's been very thankful because I've been lending him a hand with some of my stuff for getting started out since he's starting out a little bit later on the server than others. But yeah, that is cool. So let's see, new things around the base. Last time I showed, I took out, I don't think I showed the upstairs. I just showed the downstairs. I took out most of the torches. I know I still got some strewn around. I've been trying to find good lighting blocks. And these ones I tried to mix in with the basalt. I'm not really feeling it quite yet, but I'm leaving it in. These are those, wait, what are these called? What are these things even called? Inverted black, it's like cordite light. So it's doing the job. It's getting the light in there. It's really just hurt me ever since we had to take out those wrath lamps. But I don't know, I'm gonna leave it in. I wanna know what you guys think of this for now but trying to get everything lit up nicely. And it's just hard getting it mixed in here. I've been putting it in all the walls, also all the red power lights. So I did this wall all up, and yeah, I put in all the little stair things there. Gotta do this wall. Oh, and I also, I finished up the ceiling. These all have lights. I'm not sure how helpful it is for all the way down there. Probably actually just that alone would probably be enough. And then originally with Corallus, we were putting in skylights, so I finished that up. Let's see here. Ooh, and I made this a little bit more hidden for zooming down. I worked on the doorway. Oh, and I also put in, finally, I've been wanting to do this forever. Stairs come down to this level, which is our wire room. And then finally, stairs connecting to this bottom floor, which we did our B stuff, but we haven't really worked too much on. 
So and I'm not going to do this today, but finally I have stairs to go down. So before we just jump down that hole. Now on the next room down, this is going to be our mass storage area where we have all of our tanks and everything. I finally worked on the second half and this is how I think it's going to be. They're going to be split up like that just because I didn't want to make the room bigger. And I think that should be plenty of storage. We have what? I think 10 going across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so 22 when you count these side ones. That's pretty cool. I may, I got to split this one up into two now. And I think that's pretty good. We got all the paths. So very nice, very nice. And what I really wanted to get done was our factory down here. And this, I finally decided on what I want to do for the walls. And this, I think it looks pretty good. I'm using the glass viewers here, and then we have micro blocks of snow. And I really liked how the snow looked. Gives it a nice, bright look, which is exactly what we need for down here. So I think today I'm gonna to work on this a bit more. And let me, let me show you exactly and this is going to be perfect so I don't have to go down and pick up all those items. Now I am running low on snow, so we're going to have to do something about that. But let's see, I already got some split up. So I think what I was doing over here, and we got to do, I did most all of this side. And again, this room is not meant to be viewed from the outside, so it doesn't look all that great from the outside. But from the inside, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. And then we can just have a way to teleport in. So here we're going to have, I believe, just the glass viewers going up like this. Oh, man, I love these things. I wish I found out about them sooner. All right, perfect. And then from the inside, we can knock dish out. Oh, thank you, Coin of Fortune. Perfect. And then from the inside, just going to run these around. Oh, we need to do the basalt part, too. So for the basalt part, let's get some more of these split like that. Let's see, knock those out. I've been doing, and it kind of stinks they don't have the basalt stairs. But I've been going like that, and then like this for the bottom part. I believe that's right. Did I have the glass viewers going down? I guess it doesn't matter. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. And I put down the snow, you derp. It goes like that. Then I had the snow going around the sides. And I show. Bunk, bunk, bunk. Oh, and guess what else, guys? I've been finally, I've been talking about doing a single player for this. Just because the server, we still have the p most active people are uh, Hypno. Or no, excuse me. Hypno's not even playing anymore because he's doing his single player. But Maryland and Slipgator and then Tinfoil Chef, they're really the only people that are playing on a regular basis on the server. And it's getting kind of sad. And, you know, we're using the ultimate pack. It's still 1.4.7. And for this, this really drives me nuts. I can't wait to start using the new micro blocks. I hope they fix some of the lighting things. But see how that's all? Eh. It all switches color. So I got to go in the back and put lighting on both sides. I've just been spamming it. We'll replace it with another thing later. But once we get all the torches on the side, the lighting looks nice. I like that way better than marble, because marble was the other thing that a lot of people use with the basalt. But I think that's pretty good. I like it. So I'm going to work on this a bit more. Try and get her all finished up, and then we have to start working on the roof. Dang flux, where is that coming from? Who in the heck is even using Thomcraft on the server nowadays? All right, let's take that, that. So anyway, since it's not as busy and we've done so much and it's not stopping the series, I'm still going to do it, but I need to start getting trained up on all the new mods and there's a lot of different stuff. I've been juggling between the unhinged and do we have this one further back? No, that's right. Between the Unhinged and, what's the other one? Unleashed, I believe. One of them has Greg Tech without Tinker's Con. Well, it's actually, they're quite a bit different. I don't know all the different mods that they have in them, but 
And I was looking through the two, I think I'm going to end up going with the Unleashed, which I believe is the one that has the Tinker's Construct and no Greg Tech. So that's going to be kind of weird, but we've done Greg Tech so much in this world, and I also don't think we're going to be going with Greg Tech. I think everybody wanted Tinker's Constructs in when we reset the server. So, you know, I, I got to start learning to deal with it. So I think it should be fun, though. It'll give us a lot of new mods. And that, hopefully, I may, I, I just really been looking. I haven't even looked at it at all. I've been looking at the biomes uh, plenty, I think it's called. Bottom part. Scope out what I really wanted for an area. Did I do this wrong again? Boom, boom. And where are you? Don't. Come on. Oh, micro blocks are such a pain. All right. So anyway, this is what I have to do, but we are just about out of snow. And I've been gathering all this manually over. Let me show you the area. They have those. What is it? The glacier biomes. Where's my dang book? Let's get up here. Let's see. Let's zoom upstairs. I have back this way. We have a nice, let's see what the biome's called. Say, I think it's, yeah, Glacier Biome. So I've just been gathering the snow manually here, and it's really taken a toll on me. So I think today we need to set up, I finally realized there is a machine that will make snow, it will make ice, and it will make snowballs for you. So I want to get this automated and set up into our system. So it'll make all this building so much better for me. So I'll see you right back. Alrighty, so this is what I was looking at. It's called the Glacial Precipitator. And it looks like it's part of probably thermal expansion, I think, because this stuff looks like, yeah, it's probably part of that mod. Anyway, I got it pretty much all set up. This is all the snow, Look, let's look, snow. Yeah, we have no snow. So this is all the snow we have left to our name right now. Just enough. Let's throw in some of this. And there we go. Boom. Easy peasy. So let's grab that. I thought it's supposed to re-put in stuff there. Anyway, that's good enough to get started. Just one. And I found a little spot for it. This should be good right here. Over here I have my liquid transposer. I think, is that... Yep, liquid tesseract. So let's take a look at this thing, what it actually requires. Bunk. And so it looks like you can select whether you want it to make snowballs, snow, or ice like that. I'm guessing, yep, that looks like water you put into it. And then we have to have the energy coming out. So let's see if we can get this guy set in and automated. Sorry, buddy, we're going to have to undo you for a little bit. All right, so we already have, and that was liquid, right? Okay, so let's set this guy down right next to it. Bunk, and let's get, all right, liquid's already set in. We want that coming in from that side. So let's knock those off, cool. And then I guess we can just get it loaded something like this, let's see. Is that all we needed? Yeah, just water. So we can have a level emitter going on the top to turn it on and off, all right. And we're going to want to set that to snow. And then on the bottom, we'll just have it spit out into an ME interface. All right, so let's get this all set up. Do I have any more snow? All right, so let's set this to go if there's about 50. <laughs> I know this is obnoxious. We'll say 15,000 snow. And if it is below the limit it should do that cool so right now we're below the limit the lights turning on here let's set this guy so on the bottom it's gonna spit out so we want that to be orange on the top we want this to be nothing and the water's coming in from that side so now we just need power uh, just to save time I'm gonna throw an energy tesseract right here Bunk, private, and receive only, DMAC base. 
All right, so it should be getting power and yep, there we go, it's charging up. We've got all the settings here set all right. Now we are just going to say, if we get a redstone signal goes on, awesome. In the snow, we would see it building up in there. Let's just knock that out so you can see. Yep, see, and the snow builds up, but it's gonna poop it out right into that thing. And bam, we are looking good, except for the fact that it's out of water. Why is it out of water? It should be right. What are you doing to me, guy? Are we, do we not generate enough freaking water for this thing? What's wrong with you? We may need to set up a separate water source for this guy. Let's go check out what's going on with our water. What you doing? What you doing? Oh, a lot of people have been asking also if my security station is obstructing the witch farm at all. I have it set so that it stops right about here, the invisible line for killing mobs. So it does not interfere with this guy, but we're eventually going to move that witch farm. We're doing plenty good on materials. I don't think we're even going to need it on for a while. So what are you doing, buddy? How are you doing? You're not... You should be producing enough water here. Yeah, you guys are all full. So what is your... Fr <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. Check this out. I had this tesseract set so that it was only on with redstone signal. And this guy was obstructing that one. So now we are all set. Sweet. So I'm just going to wait this out and let the snow gather up and we will meet back. Thank God I am finally done putting in all the windows. I think it looks pretty good. We're going to have to put something here on the other side, but getting that snow to that glacial precipitator. Oh man, that just saved me so much time not having to mine up all this stuff. Anywho, next time we're going to have to start doing the roof. I may just do this off camera and show you what I ended up with come next episode I'm gonna have to this was just a skeleton thing so I wouldn't have to torch up stuff but we're probably not going to use these uh roadblocks for it so I'll figure something out figure out what I want to do I was playing around a little bit with the force fields to see if there was a way check this out if I turn this on it has the sphere pattern I thought it would be really cool and also really easy if there was a way I could get it to do a sphere like this and this is pretty obnoxiously big but have it matched up with this this height right here and see if there's some way I could just like chop it in half so that it didn't continue down past this point otherwise it's going to be useless and I think there's something in the mod that you can sort of fuse the uh where, where's that thing this guy right here I thought you could fuse the uh force fields together I'm not exactly sure how it works but I was playing around like something like this where it would sort of form the two together and they probably have to be touching for that to work. But you get you kind of get the idea of what I'm trying to say here and then I could just make this one invisible. But that would give us a pretty cool dome pattern. Maybe we'd do something a little bit smaller like let's, let's cut out a couple there. Let's do like 17. Let's see how that matches up. Should I do better? Yeah, that's pretty good. It's still here. It's not matched up. But I thought it would be kind of neat if there was some way I could just chop off that bottom part. I don't know if that's possible, guys. So let me know if there's a way I can just cut that out. But it would save me a lot of time. Let's look at what this looks like from the outside. That would be awfully neat. And then have like four of them going across. I guess it would kind of butt into this room. But, I don't know, just an idea. Just something kind of neat. And it would definitely save me a lot of time than laying in the freaking thousands of blocks here. Oh, wow, that goes far. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it. I'll get going on this if you have any suggestions. I kind of like how it looks with this. Oh, I can't go through that one. Turn off. All right. I kind of like how that looks with the snow, but I don't know. Let me know what you think, and if you have any suggestions for materials, that would be helpful. And, um, yeah, 
I think that will do it, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, comment, like, subscribe. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Because it does help me out quite a bit getting better noticed. Look at this glitching out. Better noticed on YouTube for my Minecraft. Um, just any also last minute opinions about the Unleashed versus Unhinged. I want to get that single player up and going ASAP. Because I'm running out of mods to play with here. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and peace out. Oh, my God. I'm sorry to cut back in, guys, but I think I figured out what I was trying to do before. I just wanted to show you so that you didn't have to go crazy in the comments of it. But anyway, all right, sit down here. Let's turn this guy on. This one, I had to switch over because this, uh, the Field Fusion mod I don't think it works with the wall. So there's probably another one we could do, but what I ended up doing is a, putting in a tube here. Let's turn that on. All right, so we got the tube on. And then let's throw this guy on. And then this one has that same sphere and also is the field fusion mod. And I had to line them up so that they're both kind of, I guess, exactly touching each other, I think. But anyway, let's see. Let's turn that one on. And it takes a minute. It actually crashed my client the first time I did it. Come on. You can do it. All right, I'm going to relog real quick. And. Is it going to do it? And, oh, I don't know if it's my client or the server that it crashed. Oh, all right, let me just. I'm going to restart the launcher. All right, so back in after restarting the launcher. And look at that. That is so freaking cool. How it connects up like that. That's exactly what I wanted. And then we'd knock out all these arches. And that is pretty cool. That would be really neat to have just a roof on demand that I could flick on and off. And then have several spheres. Now, I don't know if it's really that resource hungry as far as the server resources. For having a force field up or if it's just that initial when you switch it on so many blocks I guess kind of blocks being generated all at once but I don't know it could be pretty neat and then we could do each of these doorways do another one where it fused together and do a tube I don't know I gotta play around a full more of them let me know what you think I thought that was pretty neat even if we don't do it just being able to figure that out but all right guys Bye for real, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.